Everybody knows my story, I hope you do. I became a mother, I was like, wow, college fees is not far. And the truth is, from the day you hold them like this, you can see university. I kid you not. <laughs> Hi, it's Caroline Mutoko. Welcome to my channel. And I am joined by three gentlemen. And I'll get straight to it. I've never wasted your time. The conversation is men and money. I'm going to ask each of the gentlemen to introduce themselves. I'll start in seniority. My name is Peter Mbapa. I describe myself as a solution provider. Oh, I like I like providing solutions where I see need. And I'm very passionate about investments and uh, glad to be here to discuss men, men and, and money. money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Waidaka Gatumia, thank you so much for having us here. Um, I'm the current CEO yes. of Centonomy Limited, where we talk about money. And so I said, I have to be here to tell men, let's discuss money. Okay. Mm -hmm. And? I'm Joe Brian Jura, an engineer, but now a fashion designer. Thank you for having us. And you're wearing your brand. Yeah, and I'm wearing my brand. It's so good. here's the thing I need to know from Peter and Joe, and yourself. In mm -hmm. fact, let me start with you. Yeah. When I did Centonomy 101, yeah. the classroom was like 80% female, 20% men. Yeah. And even the open days look like that. Mm -hmm. Men don't seem to want to be in a classroom setting to learn about money. Mm -hmm. Why? I think there are two reasons. One is positive, one is negative. Mm -hmm. Let me talk about the positive yes, first, because yes. I, I have to encourage men. Yes. I think there's a group of men who think that I don't need to learn about money, I need to be making it. So they're out there working their butts off to, to get make. some money. Okay. Yes. So that's a negative one. The negative one is, what can you teach me? You know, some of us, are, honestly, some of us, sometimes we have to deal with our ego. Okay. And some of us are, what are you telling me? about money. See, I know. See, I went to school. I did, uh, what was it called? Business education. Sorry, I'm showing how old I am right yeah, now. Sorry, right now. <laughs> yes, BS, yes, BS, BS, yes. I don't know what that is. And so, see, we did it. We learned maths. Mm -hmm. You go and earn. And, and the principles of wealth creation we have never been taught. We understand the mathematics. But wealth creation is not just mathematics. It isn't. It's a practice that you get into. And you have to be taught. You have to, be, you have to learn. You have to be coached. Just like a soccer player, if you, you can study every book about soccer, mm -hmm. but you will never be a great soccer player until you get on the pitch with a great coach who's going to help you to understand how Thank to pass the ball. the ball from there to there. I got you. Yes. You did St. Omni, I believe, when you were 24? Yes, when I was 24. Two years ago, why do you think young guys don't think they need to learn about money? I mean, when you tell your guys, you're like, um, I'm in school on Saturday morning, I can't have a hangy. You're learning what? Learning about money. See, do konayo, you just, you know what to do with it. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's what they do. That's what they say. I think the ego makes us not go to, school, go to class uh -huh. to learn about money. Because they think we already have the perception of how we are supposed to spend our money. Peter, if Centonomy had male classes and female classes, you think more guys would go to, just, just, just so that they don't have to mix with the chicks? Probably yes. Yes, uh, I believe because, that. Because uh, men are sensitive when it comes to money. And I guess another reason why men will not go to classes is because we did not see our fathers go to finance or wealth creation this is classes. This is true. Uh, they seemed to make it. And so we grow and nobody tells us, you actually need to go to class to learn how to create wealth. But I have to come back to you. But yeah. men, on the other hand, are happy to quote every book. Yeah. I mean, Robert Kawasaki and mm -hmm. this and yeah. that. So what's that <laughs> about then? I think men are also really great at talking. <laughs> I was listening to a, a, a story on the BBC coming in and they were talking to women and telling them, if you want to grow in your career, you have to boast about yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. They were telling women. Mm, but I was women just, cause, don't. Because guys will say, if you, did, you put the tea in the right place, you'll come and tell, did you see how I did the tea? So guys are great at talking. Okay. But a lot of the time, the implementation, the day to day, the actual work behind it, sometimes we struggle. So we're great at reading those amazing books. But then, are you doing. actually saving? Are you, are you doing what Kiyosaki said? And he said, are you, you, is your house your greatest asset? Or are you actually investing elsewhere? So those are the things so we talk about. It. And we'll sit in a pub and you'll hear guys talking forever. 
but the doing, the doing is where we struggle. However, yeah. and this one comes to Joe, yes. you're also every day bombarded by people who have made it, who've yes. got it, who are balling, but you know they never went anywhere to study it. Is that a factor? It's a factor because they keep on telling you like, well, why do you need to go to class and they made it without going to class? Or oh, so and so. Yeah, so and so. Is, has so even sometimes it. when you're going to class, you don't want people to know that you're going to class to learn about money. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but then again, <laughs> and now Peter, I need to come to you. I believe that as media, as a country, a community, we've also sold young men the wrong pipe dream. And, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm very sensitive when I say this because women by and large, and I'm very tough on women, have, don't have a shortage of stories and narratives that show the how to do it. Men, on the other hand, have been sold a pipe dream. They're told they see a politician three helicopters later. They can't calculate backwards what the, stops, the steps were to get there. Um, uh, you know, four Range Rovers, I don't know what. And then, of course, there's the tenderpreneur. Very few tenderpreneurs are ever in court other than Kafura <laughs> because <laughs> of course, cause, cause they got the deal. So, and usually it's guys who are doing the wheeling dealing. But has, hasn't the young man in Africa and in Kenya also been sold the wrong set of principles on money. That is true, and I guess that's why we are having this chat today. And uh, I would want to encourage all the men, it's time for us to step up, and especially those of us who've gone to class and learned mm -hmm. how to create wealth. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this, I am very passionate about talking to the young men joining uh, the workforce where I work, mm -hmm. and I discuss with them about pension, and they look at me and they tell me, you know what, Peter, I'm not about to retire. I don't know what that retirement thing I'm is. I'm 26. <laughs> and so you sit, and in a few minutes, you show them, because as Waidaka said, they understand maths. You mm. tell them, mm. if you put this money into pension today, mm -hmm. you're saving the tax that you're paying to government. They're like, now, mm -hmm. now you're talking, because mm -hmm. they don't like to teach okay. much, do they? Yeah. And so <laughs> I think the issue is we have to make it exciting for the young men. Oh. We have to make wealth creation exciting and we have to show them the benefit and we have to drill the mm -hmm. truth that you can create wealth the right way mm -hmm. without doing what you see on TV or on mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. And yes, media there is needs no other... to help, oh, exactly. Don't get me started. <laughs> and, and I think we need to see the media also feature people who've made it the right way. Yes. yes that's and true. tell that story. Yeah, yeah, you can't celebrate anarchy and yeah. then ask what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And so there's an opportunity, Caroline. There's an opportunity for those of us who have the knowledge to share with the young and for media to partner with us by telling the right stories. Okay. Now that we've got you leaning in because you're sitting there thinking men and money, I'm going to be asking these three gentlemen why they signed up for Centonomy 101. Everybody knows my story, I hope you do. I became a mother, I was like, wow, college fees is not far. And the truth is, from the day you hold them like this, you can see university. I kid you not, <laughs> I kid you not. So subscribe and come back. The conversation is men and money. Yeah, tell your younger brothers to watch. Thank you.